coming up on the Potter's Touch. What you're trying to do, is it a God thing or is it a flesh thing? Are you trying to get God to bless something so you can prove to your sister that you got just as much as she does? Strange fire. If you're trying to get even with your ex-husband and trying to get God to be a part of the plot, strange fire. God said, I will only bless that that I started. If I started it, I'll finish it. I am Alpha. I am Omega. I am the beginning. I am the end. I am the first. I am the last. This is the Father's time. Glad to have this opportunity to be in your home, to be in your life, to inject into your heart the infallible riches of God's eternal word. The message that we're going to share today really riveted our church. The message is called, My Feet, But His Fire. It speaks about combining your efforts with God's direction. It doesn't matter how much effort you put to it. If God is not in it, it means absolutely nothing at all. His fire with your feet won't work either, because if you have his direction, but you won't walk it out, it will never come to pass. You want to hear more? I'm glad you do. Stay tuned. It's coming. This is the Avalanche Special Report, recording live with Gino Jennings. I live in Jamaica, and I listen to your telecast every Sunday with my husband. Sir, I would like to ask you a question based on something I see taking place at my church. All right. He or she says, what are your views on remarriage? Suppose both persons got married early. Then one went away to live in the States, leaving the husband. He went to the States to her, but she let him know she didn't want him anymore. She now has a new man and a child. Can that, marry, can that man remarry knowing that his wife left him? Hmm. Seven chapter. Mm-hmm. First Corinthians. Of First Corinthians. Amen. First Corinthians chapter seven. And begin reading at verse ten. Yes. And unto the married I command, yet not I but the Lord. All right, Jamaica, you watching us this morning on CBM. Amen. Oh yeah. You say the husband left and got remarried? Uh-huh. So both, both persons got married early then. Both persons got married early and one came to the States, which I know many are doing. Mm-hmm. And one got remarried. He went to the States for her, but she let him know she didn't want him she anymore. She didn't want him no more. Hmm. Now she has a new man and a child. No Can man. that man remarry? Can that man remarry? Obviously, someone is hurting. Amen. Or it's it God is on out the lifeline. That's right. Someone is drifting away drifting here. Amen. No, you can't. No, you can't. Mm-hmm. Extra. Extra. Read all about it. Read all about it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> There's a 2011 news flash. That's right. I want to show you our headline report. Mm-hmm. First Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 7. 7 and verse 10. At verse 10. Listen. And unto the married I command. Unto the married I command. Yet, yet not I. But who's talking? But the Lord. But the Lord. Let not the wife depart from her husband. Now, God is atomizing what he prefer not to happen. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Listen at the language of what I just said. Mm-hmm. God is atomizing what he prefer not to happen. That's right. I want to say why you say it like that. Because God knew it would happen. Amen. Oh, yes. Glory to God. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why? How, how, why would God say that? Because it happened to him. It happened to him. That's right. That's right. That's right. Glory to God, let me educate you. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I said it happened to him. That's right. That's right. In the days of old, mm-hmm. God Almighty had an Old Testament bride mm-hmm. called the Church in the Wilderness. That's right. That's right. Uh, the Children of Israel. Mm-hmm. And he preferred mm-hmm. that they did not leave him. And I saw. But they were hard hit. That's right. And they got attracted to another God, and it was idolatry. Amen. Go ahead, brother. 
And because they got attracted to another God, God got rid of them in the Old Testament. That's right. Yes, he did. God did it when it was a law implement. You see, look how wise God is. Yes, go ahead, brother. God got rid of the Old Testament bride and used the term he divorced Israel. That's right. Listen. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, and at verse 8. And I saw when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery. Now, when you divorce your wife or husband, mm -hmm. that's a form of backsliding. That's yeah. right. That's right, sir. Mm -hmm. That's right. When you divorce, that's a form of backsliding. That's right. Listen. And I saw when for all the causes Whereby backsliding I would say, well, divorce and separation is the same. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, no. One God allow and the other God don't. That's right. Listen. And I saw when for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel committed adultery. And I had, hold it. They committed adultery. Committed adultery. They didn't spill seed with another man. No. But they mingled with another God. That's right. And because they backslid by departing from God mm -hmm. and went after other gods, mm -hmm. that was spiritual adultery. That's right. Mm -hmm. Wherefore all the causes backsliding Israel committed adultery. And I had put her away. I put her away. And given her a bill of divorce. Well, God did that during the time where divorce was allowed under the Old Testament law. As a wife. Listen. In Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 20. As a wife. Treacherously departed from her husband. Listen. And look at the comparison that the creator is making to, about the people and him. As a wife. As a wife. The people, the church is as a wife to God. That's right. Notice the language of the book. As a wife. As a wife. Treacherously departed from her husband. Treacherously departed. From her husband. So have ye. So have you. Dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel. You left God. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Amen. You left God. Amen. I prefer that you don't. That's right. And That's right. Now. <laughs> go ahead, brother. If you backslide. Mm -hmm. God don't want you to go after another God. That's why he wants you to return to him. Turn to that slide. Listen, listen, listen. He said what? In Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 14. What do you want the backslider to do? Turn, oh ye backsliding children. He don't want another God to get your attention. That's right. Why? He's too jealous. Amen. He loved the backslider so much, he said, I'm married to you. For I am married unto you, saith the Lord. Amen. That's right. That's, That's right. right. So being that God is married to the backslider, mm -hmm. that means this. He's helped by obligation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so warn the backslider. That's right. To come back to That's him. right. That's right. Go ahead. That's what marriage to the backslider means. Mm -hmm. Marriage, obligation. That's right. He's committed in warning the one that depart from him. Return, ye backsliding children. Come back. That's come right. back. I've got a lot of backsliders watching me now. That's right. Come back to God. Return. God say return. Return. Come on back. That's right. That's Word right. Take God, you left God for money. You left God for houses. Yeah. You left God for some man. Yeah. You left God for some woman. Yeah. You left God for a position. Yeah. You left God for notoriety. Yeah. You left God for politics. Yeah. Return. Come on back. Return. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. God is calling for your backslider. Amen. Come on back. Now let's go back to. Corinthians, if you will, First Corinthians seventeen. And unto the married I command. Unto the married I command. Yet not I, but the Lord. But the Lord. Let not the wife. You see, God prefer. Right. That the wife depart from her husband. Do not leave her husband. But what? But what? But what? But the moment he said but, now he let you know there's something gonna happen. <laughs> That's right. There's something gonna happen. Amen. And I gotta implement a law <laughs> to cover it when it happens. That's right. That's right. That's right, brother. 
Go ahead. Something gonna happen. Amen. But I gotta step in mm -hmm. and implement a law mm -hmm. when it happens. That's right. Hey, I, 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 I gotta cover that also. Amen. That's right. Amen. Glory to God. I want to soak you here. But, but, and if she depart. Now, there's some folk just can't stay together. That's all. That's right. For all kind of reasons. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he don't have good sense and sometimes she can't find her senses. Amen. That's true. All kind of reasons. That's true. Someone said, what about the first part? Let her not depart. That's what he preferred. That's right. But now he's coming down, itemizing another law. That's right. And let you know what to do if it happens. That's right. Hey. That's right. Listen. Let not the wife depart from her husband, but... But... And if she depart... That's dealing with separation, not divorce. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Big difference. Oh, yeah. When you talk about divorce, you're getting a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So man can put you asunder. That's right. Hmm? Yeah, that's right. Glory to God. Amen. You get man involved. Mm -hmm. And man is dividing assets. Right. Writing things off. That's why the term in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. a bill. Bill of divorce. A bill of divorce. That go to show you separation and divorce is not the same. That's right. A bill. bill you overlook that. Mm -hmm. Bill of divorce. Bill, something written. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> bill, something written. A that's, contract. That's right. That's right. Good. Big difference from separation. Oh, yes. Some say, I don't believe in separation. I believe in whatever God believes. Amen. Whatever God said, then that's it. That's it. Can you hear that? But and if she departs. If. If a woman do separate, let her remain unmarried. There's another law implemented now. There's a law over her That's right. and over him while they in two different places. That's right. She got to do what? Let her remain unmarried. She can't marry no one else as long as she's separated. Mm -hmm. He can't marry no one else as long as he's separated. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Amen. If she depart. If she depart. She fall under this law. That's right. Let she her fall under this law. Mm-hmm. Let her remain how? Unmarried. Unmarried. Or, or be reconciled to her husband. If you want your husband back, if you want your wife back, reconciliation is there. That's right. I want to say, Pastor Dennis, well, I don't want him no more. Hmm. And I don't want her no more. Amen. That long as you're separated, what is that law over you? Let her remain unmarried. Long as you're separated, what? Let her remain unmarried. She's on the choir and he's a deacon, but what? Let her remain unmarried. That's right. Amen. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. Amen. And if marriage do take place, mm -hmm. who she got to go back to? Be reconciled to her husband. The same one you left. Same one. You left chicken, you got to go back to chicken. <laughs> That's right. Hmm? That's right. Separation is not a sin. No. Divorce is. Divorce is. Right. That's right. Separation is not a sin. Mm -hmm. Divorce is. That's right. When you divorce, there's a bill of divorce. Mm -hmm. And God Almighty don't want that no more. I want that no more. You're bound by the law as long mm -hmm. as your husband lives. That's right. So Jamaica. Your husband's still in prison. That's right. huh. You still his wife, mm -hmm. and he's still your husband. Right. Even if he don't want you back, or you don't want him back, well, you can't marry again no. until the death angel comes visit one of you. That's right. 